it shall be open for us in Jesus mighty name the book of first chronicles chapter 5 uh, verses 1 the bible says now the sons of Reuben the firstborn of Israel for he was indeed the firstborn but because he had defiled his father's bed his birthright was given to the sons of Joseph the son of Israel so that the genealogy is not listed according to the birthright uh, natani zungumzie baraka inaitwa the blessing of dipping your feet in oil alafu baadaye to partake the lord's table lakini kabla hiyo nilikuwa natani weke introduction ya baraka zile huwa zinakuwa in every family every family has a blessing na baraka ya kwanza inakuanga kwa kila familia imetajwa hapo inaitwa the birthright blessing baraka ya mzaliwa wa kwanza bible inasema the sons of reuben the firstborn indeed he was the firstborn but because he took his father's wife and committed sin with the father's wife his blessing the birthright was taken away kwa hivyo mtu yote hapa ambaye ni firstborn kuna baraka uko nayo inaitwa the blessing of birthright uzaliwa wa kwanza na baraka hii iko na mambo kadhaa number one, iko na baraka inaitwa leadership kiongozi you are a natural leader by birth that's number one. if you are writing somewhere number two, baraka ya firstborn ambayo ni birthright blessing na kuanga na double inheritance wakati wowote mzaliwa wa kwanza alikuwa nafaa pewe double the inheritance kama baba anagawa ma, mashamba anapatia vijana wake eka moja moja firstborn alikuwa napewa two acres kwa hivyo hii baraka imebeba kitu kinaitwa the blessing of double inheritance number three, hii baraka ilikuwa inabeba baraka, uh, baraka inaitwa genealogy blessing that blessing of the name firstborn jina lake na uzao wake umebarikiwa ni baraka natural hiyo hiyo ni right yake do you know those things we call rights kama mfano mtu yote ambaye ni mkenya hapa una right ya kutembea huku town na hufai kuulizwa na mtu uamuki asubuhi ukiogopa oi naenda town it is your right lakini ukiingia nchi ya kigenini kama sasa nilipoingia Tanzania wakati nilikuwa nimeenda kuhubiri niliambiwa nibebe passport yangu kila mahali ninapoenda why there are rights i don't have in Tanzania because i'm not a citizen there nikivika us huwa nabeba passport yangu on my maana anytime naweza simamishwa na immigration officer maana there are rights i don't have because i'm not a us citizen na hivyo ninavyosema ni kumaanisha ukiwa Kenyan citizen there are rights you have rights that you have na hizo rights mtu hawezi kukunyanganya na sasa ukizaliwa ukiwa firstborn kuna haki uko nayo hiyo ni baraka yako it is your right it is your right to be a leader kwa hivyo firstborn yoyote afai kuomba oh baba naomba niwe kiongozi already you are a leader by nature kwamba ulizaliwa ukiwa wa kwanza wewe kama nimeona my firstborn son hata akicheza na watoto ndiye anawaongoza maana kuna uongozi ndani yake unaona anawaambia everybody go home wanaenda wanamfuata my second born naonanga yeye ni kufuata sasa huyo itabidi ni muombe ni mbariki ni mpatie roho ya kuongoza the spirit of leadership because it can be imparted roho ya uongozi inaweza kuwa imparted to you Joshua aliwekelewa mikono and from that time he became a leader. Uh, Paul anasema in the book of Romans chapter 1 verse 11 I long to see you that I may impart some spiritual gift. Kwa hivyo mtu anaweza kukupatia roho ya uongozi, ya kuombe roho ya uongozi ingie. It is there. I long to see you that I may impart to you some spiritual gift so that you may be what? Establish. Kwa hivyo impartation can happen through laying on of hands. Unaweza wekelewa mikono, upate kipawa ama uwezo fulani wa kuongoza because of who laid hands on you. Na ndio sababu hata Timothy anaambiwa the gift that is in you ama the faith that is in you came from your grandmother. Kwa hivyo there can be a transfer of a certain gift, a certain grace and a certain level of authority. Na kwa hivyo pale tunasoma 1 Chronicles chapter 5, tunapata baraka ya kwanza ambayo ilikuwa kwenye hiyo familia ilikuwa the blessing of birthright. Lakini Bible inasema Reuben akaipoteza. So how do you lose that blessing? Kwa hivyo kuna watu hapa ambao ni mafastborn but you lose the blessing. Number one, you can lose the birthright blessing by your parent withdrawing it from you. 
mzazi yako na uwezo wa kukunyang'anya hiyo baraka. Aseme kuanzia leo wewe hauna baraka ya birthright inapeanwa kwa mwingine. Maana Biblia inasema ya kwamba the birthright blessings was given to the sons of Joseph. Who gave? Who gave? Akanyang'anya Ruben, akapeana kwa watoto wa Yusufu ni Yakobo baba ya Ruben. Kwa hivyo ukikosana sana unakosana kosana na mzazi mzazi anaweza kukunyang'anya baraka ulionayo aipatie yule ambaye anamheshimu katika familia. Na ndio huwa naambia watu usiwe mtu wa kungangana na mzazi. Don't become somebody who contends with your parent. Na sio tu contending with your parent, don't contend with authority. Usingangane na mamlaka. Ukiwa mshirika ukiwa kwa kikundi fulani ambacho pengine ni kwaya uh, ushering uko mahali fulani usiwe mtu wa kungangana na uongozi kupingana na uongozi maana viongozi watakujua and what vi, uh, viongozi wanafanya ni kuondoa majukumu kwako wanapeana kwa mwingine na kuwa baraka kwa mwingine so always know mahali popote ukienda hata mahali umeajiriwa kazini wacha kungangana na huyo boss Munashinda mnangangana mnangangana eventually atachukua majukumu mengine amekupa apatie mtu mwingine na huyo mtu afanikiwe kwa maisha. Yeah, amen. So birthright can be taken away from you by your parent. Kwa hivyo msiwe watu wa kungangana na spiritual fathers, spiritual mothers if they are there and even your own parent. Mzazi aliyekuzaa wacha kungangana na yeye. Mzazi aliyekuzaa muondokee. Kama mnakosana ondoka mahali alipo uende mbali na utabaki kuwa na heshima. Hauoni kijana yule anashinda akitembelea mama yako na baba yako ndiye anakuwa favorite. Hebu angalia ma favorite wote wanapendwa na wazazi wanafanikiwa duniani. Why? Maana mzazi anaizungumza, anazungumza hiyo baraka kutoka kwa nafsi yake. Huyu ambaye ananileteanga mkate, Mungu mbariki mkumbuke. Lakini wewe kushinda una kesi na mzazi wako, unamwambia nilisikia ulisema maneno Rudia hiyo maneno unapata maisha yako inakuwa magumu hapa duniani. Mina nawaombea wale mko na wazazi respect hata kama mzazi wako ni kichwa ngumu learn kukaa na yeye na ukichwa hiyo yake. Unajua kumkwepa, unajua tunajua button, unajua button ya huyu mzazi. Uh, kwanza kuna tu, wazee wengine usipompatia pesa, anapiga kelele. Wewe enda uvunje vunje mafifte, unaziweka pamoja kwa bahasha. Mukifika nyumbani unamwambia mzee kabla tujaongea hapa nilikuwa na bahasha yako haizi fungua vile iko nono anaweka kwa koti anakuambia unajua hata zinanga ubaya na wewe <laughs> anaanza kukuambia barikiwa wewe kabla afungue bahasha ondoka rudi town anabaki ya kihesabu 50 hapo zinafika 1400 hiyo ndio hekima lakini si kungangana na baba yako ako na mvi mnashinda mkikosana every now and then Yaani hata baba yako unajua hata wale baba walevi wabaya wanakuanga na favorite son ama favorite daughter kwa familia. Yule maana baba yako umempata akilewa hata pengine akikuzali kuwa bado anakunywa pombe. Wachana na yeye. Atinampatia pesa anaenda anakunywa. Give him. Akitaka ku... pesa ukipatia mtu ndio anaamwanga vile atafanya nayo. Eh amen. Lakini si kuanza kusema baba yangu kwanza wa mama wale mko hapa na wacha niseme hii maana ni muhimu unajifundisha kukosanisha watoto wako na bwana yako watoto wako wananyima baba yao heshima We unafikiria unawafanya vizuri kwa sababu wanakupenda hao watoto watapata shida hii dunia maana huyo mzee pamoja na udhaifu wake pamoja na shida zake ni yeye alizaa hawa watoto he gave life to these children fundisha watoto kuheshimu baba yao hata kama ana maisha mabaya maana kuna wanaume wana mipango ya kando. Naanza kusema hata huyu baba yako kazi yake ni kuzurura zurura. Ana zurura akichukua wanawake. Wewe ngangana na bwana yako mupigane mutukanane lakini usifundisha watoto kumunyima baba yao heshima. Hii shida mko nayo kuandoa sio ya watoto ni yenu nyinyi wawili. Na mkitukwe kanana haitakuwa laana. Lakini ukisukuma huyu mzee atukane hawa watoto itakuwa laana kwao. Unaharibia maisha yao. Mimi nakumbuka mzee mmoja ambaye alikuwa anakuja anachukua vikombe anauza. Anaenda anakunywa pombe. Mke wake ana, anashinda akiambia watoto mambo mabaya mabaya. Paka siku moja hawa watoto wakampiga, wakapiga baba yao makofi akiwa amelewa. Alipoamuka akasema ni mimi mlipiga makofi. <laughs> mimi mkapiga makofi, nikizikwa mfuate. Nikizikwa mfanya nini? 
wakasema hakuna nasumbua sumbua kuzikwa hivi within five years all those children were dead and buried sasa we mama unabaki hapo ukisema mapepo imeingia kwako na ni wewe ulifungua mlango akiiba kikombe nunua ingine aende auze nunua za plastic anakuja anaiba tano unarudi supermarket unanunua kumi. hivyo ndiyo kukaa na mwanaume ambaye na baadaye unamuombea watoto wako wakisema baba ni mbaya we nyamaza huyu ni baba yenu hebu kwanza toa hiyo maneno kwa mdomo yako heshimu baba yako ukifanya hivyo watoto wako watakuwa mashujaa hapa duniani maana wameheshimu authority in... maana baibu haisemi kama baba yako ni mulevi usimuheshimu baba biblia inasema heshimu baba yako na mama yako ili uishi siku nyingi na iwe heri kwako haisemi lakini kama ni mulevi usimuheshimu lakini kama ni mchawi hata kama baba yako ni mchawi yapewe heshima yake anaroga na anaheshimiwa hapo hamutasema amen Nasema hivi hata kama baba yako ni mchawi kuna mahali baibu inasema na kama baba yako ni mchawi umupiga makofi hakuna wewe omba kataa uchawi uganga na kataa na vunja vunja na haribu alafu baba yako unamwambi unamheshimu baba uko salama na unamwachia pesa hata kama ataroga nazo wewe haja yako umeheshimu mzazi mi naomba katika jina la Yesu vijana wale ambao wako hapa mujue kuheshimu wale waliwapatia uhai. Hebu nitafutie msari unasema listen to your father who gave you life. Musikize baba yako aliyekupatia uhai. Lakini hii tabia ya ma, ma, maana mtu amepata pesa yo yo yo, yo anaweka mu, mu, anaendesha Subaru anajifanya ni mkubwa kuliko baba yake kwa sababu ya Subaru. Maisha yake yanakatwa kabla ya wakati wake. Na ndiyo sababu Ruben hakuelewa akamunyima baba yake heshima. Alipomunyima baba yake heshima uzaliwa wa kwanza ukachukuliwa ukapewa almost the last born na hata hukupewa Joseph watoto wa Joseph wale wanaita Jacob babu hao ndio walipewa baraka ya birthright can you imagine na wanasema kihistoria ya kwamba Ephraim na Manase ati ndio i don't know how true it is nilisikia na watu wakisema na wahubiri ati kwamba Ephraim ndio Britain na ndio hiyo Britain pia imegawanyika ikawa ikafanyika Amerika kwa hivyo even today hiyo Ephraim ilipopewa baraka amboni wa the British even today it is history i don't know how true it is i'm just quoting other people tulitawaliwa huku Afrika na Britain mpaka leo tunavaa kama wao i'm telling you hii suti hatukuwa tunavaa hivi mkikuyu hakuwa anavaa hivi <laughs> hii ni kazi ya Britain ebuge ukia mtu muambie unakaa kama British Yaani mpaka kufungua mlango Britain. Paka pete hii mambo ya pete. Unafikiri sisi tulikuwa tunaoana tunavalisha pete? Sisi ni kurukaruka hapo unafanya fanya mambo ni sijui dumo, sijui nini, unasema ni mke wako. Lakini sasa unaona baraka vile inaweza fanya mpaka nimevaa pete. Kwa, kwa nini kidole hii? Nani aliamua kwa nini zivae hapa? Nani aliamua niivae hapa? Baraka ya Ephraim tunaifuata mpaka leo. Hii ndiyo product na suti angalia suti hii ni ya British hii nimevaa ni British angalia vile umevaa mpaka tai white mpaka kila kitu British na mpaka tunawatisha na kizungu you know today i want to speak about uh, living with god in the book of genesis chapter 2 ukiona kizungu mingi unafuata baraka ya Ephraim ukiongea kizungu mingi tunakuheshimu na nikukope unakope baraka Ukija hapa uongee kikuyu na Kiswahili broken. Tunasema huyu jamaa ako nyuma sana. <laughs> That is what blessings can do to somebody. Mtu akibarikiwa ana rule dunia mzima. Kila mahali mpaka leo mashamba ya queen imejaa hapa Kenya. My goodness. Nimeenda hapa Lord inaitwa dara inaitwa Ijaton hiyo kinyumba. Unapata vile British walitupangisha raini mpaka gari vile tunaendesha kila mahali. Hiyo ndiyo inaitwa power of a blessing. Listen to your father who begot you. Sikiliza baba yako aliyekuzaa and do not despise your mother when she is old. Wajua kwa nini Bible inasema usimdharau mamako wakizeeka maana wakizeeka wanakuanga na maswali mingi na kukupigia simu nyingi. Mamangu ananiulizanga unavuka barabara vizuri? Mam. Mam kuvuka barabara nakuru 
Mi naongoza ministry kubwa ni barabara itanishinda lakini siongee hivyo namwambia hapana mam navuka vizuri kwanza tukiwa na yeye town ananishika mkono anivukisha barabara <laughs> she is old i should not despise her alafu wamama wakizeeka wanatakanga kuhurumiwa wanashinda wakisema unajua <laughs> siku hizi hakuna mtu ananisalimia yani wanataka uwahurumie hurumie kwa hivyo lazima ujifundishe kuhurumia mama yako akizeka unamwambia oi mama oi mtasikilizana kwa hivyo mama akizeka nakumbuka mama mmoja rafiki yangu mmoja mama yake alikuwa anashinda kuja kumuamka kumuamsha asubuhi mahali tulikuwa tunakaa kishagi huko nikienda nikifunga shule alafu anamuita asubuhi mapema aje akunywe chai ametayarisha chai sasa huyo kijana tukikutana naye anatuambia unajua mama yangu anakaa kajogoo kushinda anashinda kuita ye yeah! 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 Ana despise, ana despise mama yake. Huyo jamaa leo ana shida. Shida hazikai shida, maana namjua. Shida zimekaa shida. Maana alidharau mama yake akiwa mzee. Naomba mama yako akizeeka muheshimu. Pamoja na uzee, pamoja na kutoelewa mambo, heshimu mama yako. Na akikuongelesha msikilize, akikuadvise msikilize. Listen to your mother when you are listen to your father who begot you. Baba yako akikuambia fanya hivi na hivi, sikiliza. Naye mama yako usimudharau kwa sababu amezeeka. Sasa wewe mama na hakuna kitu unajua hii unajua ni dunia. Mungu atusaidie. First Chronicles chapter 5 verse verse 1. Kwa hivyo baraka ya kwanza, birthright blessing. Number 2. Alafu sasa niwaonyeshe the blessing of Asha. Go to verse Two. Baraka ya pili imeandikwa hapo. Yet Judah prevailed over his brothers and from him came a ruler although the birthright was given to Joseph. Tunapewa na kuonyeshwa baraka ya pili iliyo katika familia, the blessing of a ruler. Kila familia kuna baraka ya mtu mmoja ama wawili wainuke wawe viongozi. Kwa hivyo every blessing kuna road of leadership, law, road of ruling. Kwa hivyo Judah hakupewa birthright alipewa kijiti cha kutawala utawala ndani yake kwa hivyo kila familia kuna mtu mmoja ana utawala ndani yake ama wawili unafaa uloketi ni nani kwa familia you are leaders you are a leader kama mimi sio firstborn my sister ndiye firstborn lakini baraka hii ya juda mimi nilipewa na my mom aliniombea pamoja na my dad wakasema kuwa kila mahali ukienda watu wasikushinde wasi uwe na nguvu inaitwa na kwa hivyo ukiombea watoto wako firstborn unampatia baraka yake na unatangaza awe heshimiwe na ndugu zake hawa alafu mmoja huko unasema huyu awe kiongozi awe na baraka ya juda juda ni utawala mpaka Yesu tunamuita the lion of the tribe of juda mtu yote alitoka kabila la juda alifanyika kiongozi mkubwa david solomon name them they became mighty leaders kwa hivyo kuna baraka ya arula in the family. Next verse. Number three. The sons of Reuben and the, fa- the first born of Israel were her go to verse 4. Aha, go to verse 5. Verse 5 please. Ah kuna verse nilikuwa natafuta sikumbuki iko wapi lakini andika the next blessing inakuwa kwa familia ni priestly blessing. Levi became a priest. Levi nitawatafutia when I get that verse. Kila nyumba inakuhani. Kila nyumba iko na mtu ambaye anaweza kufanya watu hawa wamjue Mungu. Kwa hivyo Mungu aliachilia baraka kwa familia. Na baraka ya kwanza birthright ya pili Juda, ya tatu ni ukuhani. Unapenda Mungu sana kuliko watu wenu wote. Unasikia kutafuta Mungu, unasikia kuomba wengine wanakuambia hii mambo ya kwenda enda kanisa itakusaidia vipi wewe ni kuhani you are a priest of the family na mwishowe utaishia kusimama kama mimi kuhubiria hiyo familia na kuikomboa kuhani huwa ni taa ya Mungu kwa familia mtu yote ako na mafuta ya kuhani in the family ndiye anafanya Mungu aonekane kwenye hiyo jamii hiyo taa inawaka taa ya maombi inaonekana huko taa ya kumtafuta Mungu wewe ndio hata watu wa familia wanakuita pasta na wewe sio pasta maana wewe ndio kuhani wa huko you are the priest of the family 
na kuhani ananyimwa uwezo wa biashara kama <laughs> intercessor anajaribu haka karagonga mwamba anakaita Bereirohi supermarket anakuambia Bereirohi supermarket baada ya muda kidogo kuisha ukiwa kuhani na umebeba mafuta ya kuhani utakulia ukuhani na ukuhani si lazima uwe pasta kama hawa waimbaji wanaimba hawa wako na mafuta ya kikuhani wanajaribu tu biashara waulize wametujaribu wanajaribu unaona mtu umeandika kwanza unakaita the lion of the tribe of juda kinyozi <laughs> yaani nakwambia unaweka mashini pale alafu hizo mashini zote unaziweka sticker blood of jesus blood of jesus Viti vyenyewe unaandika occupy kama vile tunaita TV yetu occupy till he comes Kinyozi unasukuma Rafu watu wale wanakuja kunyolewa wana mafuta kama yako hawalipi <laughs> Wanasema we ni nyoe nitaombea hii kinyozi Nitaiombea <laughs> Wapi Inaitwa the Levi Unakumbuka Mungu alisema lawii asipewe shamba alinyimwa na ndio unaona mhubiri yoyote akikuwa mkubwa aingie kwa biashara ministry inakwisha Na kwa hivyo kama mimi nafaa nifanye kazi ya Mungu hata kama kuna biashara nitafanya nizifanya kupitia mke wangu sio mimi Eh hey, amen Lakini nikijifanya mujanja ati nakuja hapa nawaambia kuna mashamba nauza na hapa Ah, mlima Sifrani mtaona vile ikanisa. Hebu angalia wahubiri wengi wana hiyo. Ministry hawaendi sana. Maana kuhani ameambiwa kule kwa madhabahu. Sasa na nyinyi muniruhusu, mnaleta sadaka hapa. Maana nimenyimwa uwezo wa biashara. Sasa uwezo wangu ni ndena tena mfunge kuhani mudomo. Najaribu kuzema nataka nyumba. Pasa wewe kaa hivyo. Manabii wa Mungu ni kama Yohana, alikaa kwa kwa majangu akikula asali. Sasa pasa akinunua gari ni shida. Do you know wachungaji siku hizi wako to we are in a lot of trouble. Maana your success becomes trouble. You yani MP anaweza jenga manyumba hata ipigwe picha lakini muhubiri akijenga nyumba problem. Anafungwa mdomo. Anaambua wewe uishi na mataabu. Sasa sisemi wale ambao biashara zenu waziende vizuri nyinyi makuhani maana kuna mtu anaweza kwenda aseme mimi inaonekana mimi no biashara unafaa ukiona haiende mzuri badilisha kibao unajua mimi napenda hoka wa Nairobi hoka wa Nairobi huwa hapa nyuma wameweka mwamvuli miamvuli kadhaa amenunua kama kumi. hapa mbele ako na socks na hapa kando ako na vitabu vya class 1 Beba ya mwana ni yako 20 kunaanza kunyesha anatoa socks mwamvuli mwamvuli beba 200 mwamvuli hao ni hoka wa Nairobi mimi naomba wanakuru muwe hivyo wale mko hooking hapa na kuru beba mwamvuli kadhaa kwa bag ukiuza matunda kukianza kunyesha mwamvuli 333 kwanza ukituuzia 500 tunanunua maana umenyeshewa sasa anyway Let's go to the the blessing of Asha. Do you, would you like to see the blessing of Asha? Sasa hii ndio inakuanga wengi wenu mko hapo. Hii baraka nataka kusoma leo. Most of you mko hapo. Na naomba ianze kufanya kazi. Deuteronomy chapter 33 verse 24. Hii ndio baraka watu wengi sana hapa mko nayo. Ilipewa Asha, mmoja wa watoto wa Yakobo. Hebu tusome pamoja. And of Asha he said, Asha is the most blessed of sons. Let him be favored by his brothers and let him dip his foot in oil. Wacha ingize miguu yake kwenye mafuta. Leo nataka nizungumzie hii baraka inaitwa the blessing of oil on your foot ama on your feet. Asha aliambiwa ukiingiza miguu yako kwenye mafuta what will happen? you will be favored even by your brothers mungu akikupa hii baraka unapata kitu kinaitwa favor favor ni kukubalika hii baraka ikiachiliwa kutoka kwa hii madhabahu ije juu yako utapata kwamba kila mahali ukienda favor ukienda kwa embassy wanakupa visa eh hey, amen 
ukienda area zote za maisha yako unapata kwamba you are highly favored maana miguu yako imeingia kwa mafuta hebu wa mikono sema katika jina la Yesu ninaomba mchana wa leo miguu yangu iingie kwa mafuta kuanzia leo kibali kinifuate in Jesus name mimi naomba miguu yako iingizwe kwa mafuta ukipata do you know there is something i want you to learn out of all these things we are saying hii baraka ni nani anaizungumza ni Musa so a servant of god can speak a blessing to you lakini sasa wewe hupokei nisema amen mzuri mi naomba miguu yenu iingizwe kwa mafuta hii na miguu yenu ikiingia kwa mafuta mtakuwa na kibali you will have favor wherever you go na huyu ni Musa anabariki alisema Asha kuja, kuja mbele yangu I want to bless you. Akainua mikono akasema Asha, you are the most blessed of all sons. Let him be favored by his brothers and let him dip his foot in oil. Sasa unapata ya kwamba baba yako akikubariki ni tofauti na muhubiri. Baba yake alikuwa amembariki na baraka ya chakula. Hebu acha nikuonyeshe. Hebu nitafuti hiyo mstari sikuwa nimeiandika but Asha alipewa baraka ya nini na babake acha nikuonyeshe ile baraka alipewa kwa hivyo baraka ya mafuta itakusaidia uwe na fedha mwaka huu ukiwa na baraka ya ku dip your feet in oil acha tuone babake alisemaje Genesis 49 verse 20 The Bible says bread from Asha shall be rich and he shall yield loyal delicacies Alibarikiwa na chakula ati mahali popote akienda akipanda vyakula vinakuwa na wingi Asha's food will be rich and he will produce royal delicacies Unajua chakula kina viwango watu wa Mungu. Chakula kina viwango. Kuna chakula unakula sio royo. Hiyo ni ile ya, ya kawaida. Kuna chakula chakula royo. Hata ukiangalia wakati Queen of Sheba alienda hebu nitafuti hiyo mstari alienda kumuona da, 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 um, Solomon alishangazwa na mpangilio wa chakula kwenye meza ya, so, ya Solomon. Kwa hivyo kuna mipangilio ingine unakula Mungu akusaidia kutoa hizo level. Yaani kuna royal food. Na mimi naomba mkule royal food. Amen. Do you know royal food ni nini? Kila chakula unakula iko na matunda ina yote. Ukimaliza. Lakini hii kukula unakula mpaka usiku unaota. <laughs> Umekula ugali ya, ya, ya white ile ina carbohydrates nyingi. Natumboka kidogo hapo. Eh, the queen of Sheba is the house that he had built. Hebu angalia mahali nasema and the food vile alikuwa na set. Angalia. Hebu rudi hapo nyuma tuanze hapo uangalie chakula iwe ina mipango. Na msizeme naongea hivi kwa sababu tuko fasting. Yenyewe tunamaliza fasting leo. And when the queen of Sheba had seen all the wisdom of Solomon, the house he had built. Kwa hivyo hekima inaonekana na vile unajenga pia. Mimi nawaombea mujenge vitu wazijaonekana hapa na kuru. Pana kujenga tutu nyumba hivi hivi, unajenga nyumba watu wanakuja kujionea. Kama mimi nimekuwa challenge na wacha niwaambie ukweli. Nimekuwa challenge na hii nyumba imejengwa hapa na kuru. Kunaitwa kwa nani? Huyo Lord Ijaton. Hiyo nyumba ilijengwa 19 what? Nani yako hapa anaweza kumbuka? It was built when? Is it 1930? 1938 Wewe enda uone hiyo nyumba na uangalie ile unakaa saa hii 2020 Mimi nilienda nikashangaa Yaani mtu huyo mpaka alikuwa na chuma ya ku, ya kuchemusha ya kuweka towel iwe moto akitoka kuoga anajifunika na towel iko moto Mimi nauliza nani hapa leo ulijifunika na towel iko na moto hakuna hata mimi hapa nimesimama hapa kwanza yetu inakuanga ile ya kuangalia ile ya stima. Si unajua shawa yetu. Yeye yake ilikuwa mpaka ile ya kuingia. Unajua ile ya kuingia besen. Miaka hiyo 
Wewe yako ni ile pamoja na mimi Mungu atusaidie. Unapiga nguo shock ukioga. Sijuga. Ngapi bora leo vile nabadilisha. Kwanza unapimanga. <laughs> oh, ukiana kuzima maji ukiwa ndani ya maji utaona cha mtamakundi. Maana hii maji sijui na connect stima vipi. Ukizima hapa unagonga nguo unakauka kidogo alafu unafunga. Oh, Mungu atusaidie. Na dada mmoja hapa alikuja ni muombee. Oh, Mungu atusaidie. Aliniambia alikuwa na mulika mwizi akioga. Maana naoga na karai. Hapa hapa nakuru. Alafu mtu wanaiba. Sasa amejipaka sabuni. <laughs> yaani una, unaekelea kasi. Maana nyumba hii unaekelea kasimu hapa. Sasa hiyo ukiimba. Nina sababu ya kukuabudu. Ati aliona imeibiwa. Sasa haezi toka. Uraza kurani huyo mwizi. Nime kurani. Wewe na nyumba yako. Unasikia kicheka akiera na simu yake. <laughs> na hizo rada azifanyaki kazi. <laughs> Paka niliomba nikamwambia Mungu saidia huyo dada. Rafikiri yuko hapa. Nitamuuliza kama mambo ilibadilika. Akbisho Barison alikuwa na kaa Dandora alituambia alikuwa na kaa Dandora hakuna bafu. So mnaogea hapo nje. Unaweka karai unajipaka sabuni. Karai naibiwa. <laughs> Ukienda kuchota maji. <laughs> Zaitu wa maisha dudia hii na maneno. Mimi naomba Mungu awahurumie. Naomba mbarikiwe katika jina la Yesu. Eh, nimeingia hiyo nyumba ya huyu mzungu na hana muke. Mpaka kuna room ya keyboard ya kudance jioni. Nani hapa uko na room ya music? Nani? 1938. Mimi naomba Mungu waingize royalty. Naomba maisha yako yawe royal. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Kwa hiyo Biblia inasema Kwino Sheba akaona hata chakula vile kimepangwa kwa meza. Hebu sikiliza vitu kadhaa. Solomon alikuwa nayo. Nyumba amejenga za kifahari hazijawahi ionekana. Namba 2, vile chakula kinapangwa kwa meza. Kwa hivyo chakula vile unapanga inategemea. Ukiona chakula yako yote imechanganywa. Viazi. Githeri. Si unajua ile tulikuwa tunaita motukutanio. Yaani unachanganyishiwa yote. Unasema as long as inaenda kwa tumbo imetosha. Wewe hujafika hii level ya kupanga chakula. Chakula kinapangwa. Mboga kando. Nyama ya kuku, maini, nyamba ya mbuzi, nyama ya ngombe, hapa samaki. Unachagua kidogo hapa, kidogo hapa, kidogo hapa. Lakini hii yako yote. Nyanya zimewekwa. Kwanza na wale wa dada mko hapa mjaolewa, mjifundishe kupika. Hapana kuwa unapikia mzee vitu zote unaweka ndani mume wako. Una yani mpaka mtoto wanaangalia chakula hivi anasema anakataa kukula. Kuna vile chakula inapangwa mpaka you enjoy when you are eating. Hebu endeni hizi hoteli kubwa utaona vile unapangiwa chakula. Ukienda hoteli hizi kubwa ukiketi unaletewa katawel ya, ya moto kana joto. Na ndani yake kako na, na ndimu. Kana nukia vizuri na kako na hii inaitwa nini? Hii nanukanga mint. Yaani unapanguza hivyo, unasikia vizuri sana, unapanguza unapanguza. Katawari kana kujiwa. Alafu unawekewa kengine hapa. Ukiona bado hujafika kukula na kakitu hapa. Mimi naomba. <laughs> Unauliza hii kakitu katawari ni ya nini? Mimi nilienda US nilishangaa mpaka kwa nyumba zao kwa nyumba. Wana set meza inawekwa vijiko pande hii na pande hii hoteli, nyumba. Na unawekewa katauro ya hapa. Kana ingizangu hapa unakaralisha hivi ili chakula hiki kimwagikia isiguze nguo sasa sisi kwetu Mungu atusaidie buge ukia jirani muulize uko na hiyo katauro kwa nyumba hiyo do you have do you have <laughs> do you have it ama vitu yote ni, ni kijiko kila kitu kijiko hata hakuna uma hakuna kisu ya kukata 
Yaani vile chakula imepangwa the sitting of his servant vile vi, wa, wafanyikazi wanaketi. Eh hey! Kwa hivyo hata kuketi kwako kuna tuambia wewe ni nani. Sasa kuna mtu ameketi hivi. Unaniangalia hivi? Hiyo inatuambia uko na shida nyingi sana. You have a lot of problems. Kuna royal sitting. Hata muli notice rais wetu alipokuwa rais alifundishwa kusimama. Hamu ku notice alibadilika. Hebu angalia rais akiwa hajafanyika rais wetu huyu huru akiwa hayuko rais vile anatembea na vile anasimama. Alafu uangalie immediately alipofanyika kuwa president. Anafundishwa mpaka kusimama. Si unasimama hivi ukiwa rais. Unakaa, yani hata ukitembea unatembea hivi. No! They are walking position ama kupiga wajua kuna watu unatembea ni kama unaokota vitu. No, there is a way. Miguu unaweka kando hivi, unaenda hivi. No. There is a walking style of kings. Mi naomba muingiwe na excellent spirit. Royal spirit. Biblia inasema hata vile wafanyikazi wake walikuwa wanakaa kulikuwa na hekima. Ebu angalia even the waiters hata ushers wa hapa kanisani itatudhibitishia kama tuna hekima kwa hii kanisa vile asha kama asha anasimama hivi ya ukiingia ni kama vita asha anasema welcome sir welcome ma'am sitting waitress nguo zile wanavaa hata wao viongo wao tunafanya kazi na wao nilienda nikawaambia washone nguo za madhabahu wakakuja na nguo ingine hapa nikawaambia nguo hata vifungo vina unaona kifungo hii inaenda hivi unaona huyo mtu anakuambia anakuombeleza bwana nikawaambia tunakaa confusion pale mbele za bwana ni mbele za bwana gani hii ambao tunakaa so confused niliwaambia hizo nguo hamsimami nazo kwa madhabahu no the way you dress apparel hii nguo unaona wameweka hapa is very expensive. Very expensive. Akisimama hapa hata akipita karibu na wewe unasikia kama roho wa Bwana ame. Unasikia goose goosebumps. Maana apparel inaonyesha heshima. Mimi nauliza watu wa Mungu ndio watakaa vibaya? No, we are supposed to be to be good representatives of God. His cup bearers. His entry way by which he went to the house of the Lord. Hata muingilio. Hey. Arab Bible inasema there was no spirit in her. Yaani alishtuka mpaka kasikia roho karibu itoke. Lakini sasa tunajenga kanisa, unaona kanisa tuko na roho mwingi, tunaomba, tunatoa prophecy, lakini kanisa iko confused. Unasikia muhubiri anapanga kuhusu chai ya watoto kwa madhabahu. Mama kama ulikumbuka kuja na sufuria? Mama kama anasema ndio pasta lakini nilikuja na ile kidogo. Okay, haina shida. Mama Otieno Majani iko vipi? Pasta. Majani iko sawa. Alafu tumeka Ah, pasta lakini kiberiti hatuna. Haya kuja uchukue. Pesa ya kiberiti. Hatuna the spirit of excellence. Na ndio huwa nakataa kutangaza matangazo mengine hapa. Hayafai kutangazwa hapa. Tunafaa tuwe na adabu. Mambo mengine hiyo inaitwa spirit of excellence. Mi naomba may you dip your feet in oil. Si useme amen. Leo nataka ni waombe baraka ya kuweka miguu kwenye mafuta. Na nikupe mstari mmoja sasa tuombe tu, uh, we partake the lost table. Ukiwa na hii baraka kuna mambo kadhaa inafanyika. Habakuk chapter 3 verse 19. Number one, The Bible says the Lord God is my strength. He is my strength. He makes my feet like a deer's feet. And he will make me walk in high heels to the chief musician with chi- with the stringed instruments number one, unakuwa na miguu ya kurungu the deer you can jump over walls na unatembea juu ya milima kumaanisha ukiwa na baraka ya mafuta ya miguu utatembea na watu wakubwa you will walk with big people na utaruka yani mambo yako hufanyi haikai miaka mingi unaruka kwa urahisi May God give you the strength and the feet of a deer. Siko ma wajua mimi nimeishi ngambo nikaona deer. Deer can jump very high. Hiyo kitu inaruka juu sana. Ukipewa miguu ya deer, hata tutoto huwa tunaenda tukiruka ruka hivi. Unaona kana ruka karibu fiti sita, katoto katoto ka deer. Mungu anasema nimepewa miguu kama hiyo. The feet 
over there. May God give you such feet. Ah, si useme amen. Ukiwa na mafuta kwenye miguu yako kwa hivyo number 1 unakuwa na deer's feet. Number 2 Malachi chapter 4 verse 3. Then you will trample you will trample on the wicked. It shall be ashes under the soles of your feet on the day I do this. Kwa hivyo number 2 unapewa uwezo wa kuweka watu waovu chini yako. Hawata kushinda, wachawi waganga hawakuwezi. Eh, hey, amen. Mimi naomba muwe na mamlaka ya miguu. Mamlaka ya miguu number 1 unaruka kwa urahisi. Number 2 unakuwa na uwezo wa kuweka adui kwenye chini ya miguu yako. Finally, mstari wa mwisho. Joshua chapter 1 verse 3. Na ndio sababu na, leo na tatu waombe na tuombe ya kwamba utakuwa na baraka ya asha ya kuweka miguu yako kwenye mafuta. Every place that the sole of your foot will trend upon I have given you as I said to who Unakuwa na authority ya kupossess you possess una possess na miguu Hii principle mimi nimeitumia mara kadhaa wakati hii hall tulikuwa tunahitaji ilikuwa imejaa maofisi hapo kote mmekaa kulikuwa maofisi Siku moja nikaja kuingia hivi nikaona hey hata kuna watu wameanza kuingia maofisi Nilitembea nikisema hapa ndiyo kwaya itakaa na nakanyaga Kwanza ata hapa nikasema madhabahu itakuwa hapa Nasimama ofisi lakini ni ofisi Nasema hapa ndiyo nitasimama kama madhabahu Inaitua possession by feet Mina omba mungu wapatie hiyo uwezo Unaenda mahali unasema hapa ndiyo nitajenga hii estate Na unatembea tembea huko unasema hapa ndiyo nitakuwa na nyumba Some of you you should do a prophetic walk Nikuwa naambia watu hapa kwa kesha Sijuka mani kesha Friday Nikawambia wengine wenu endeni mpaka sehemu zile unatamani kwa moyo wako siku moja kujenga. Hata kama ni mirimani. Hawa naishi mirimani, hawana miguu ine, na masikio. Ah ah wako vile vile kama wewe. Enda siku moja huko tembea mirimani. Ukisema mahali kama hapa naweza jenga na watoto wangu waishi hapa. Ondoa mentality ya udogo. Eh hey, amen. Ondoa hiyo mentality ya kuona Ni kusevu. Na nasongia na watu wa central province. Kama we ni mtu wa central province, usikirize. Maana sisi ndiyo tunakuanga na hiyo kitu ya yani, I'm telling you. Muki ya kipata mtoto, unaenda na boda boda tatu. Moja ya kubeba virai. Nyingine ya kubeba mama na mtoto na nyingine wewe. Ati ni kusivu, boda boda moja hamsini, 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 hiyo ni 150. Hiyo maneno tumekata. Niliona jama moja kutoka na huku nyanza, alikodisha limozin kuendea mke wake. Can you imagine katoto kama ingia dunia hii kana bebo na limozin? Celebrated, huyo mtoto wamekua celebrated. Na na challenge wana umewote mko hapa, ukiendea mke wako wamepata mtoto. Katika hospitali, wacha kumuendea fogothari, enda prophetically. Enda with a prophetic thing. Ana kama utambe, uta, kama huna gari kodisha, one day, haya. Lipa elfu ine. Unaenda hata inakaha po inje. Kabla unia, ukiangalia saas, narudisha six. Yani muke wako anatoka hospitali ni unafungua murango. Mutoto unamukaribisha na makaribisho makubwa. Huyo mtoto kuna mapepo haita, haita sumbua hea hei dunia. Lakini huyo wakubebu wana boda boda kanaenda kakifunga funga macho hii. Kwa sababu ya upepo. Uurr, kana funga macho. Karaka haka mchahidisi. Na kuambia hii dunia kata kuwa na shida. <laughs> kata kuwa na shida. Yani kari ingia kakaanzia matatizo hapo. Oi, na waombea wa wanaume wote muko hapa. Hakuna mambo ya saving. Muke wako wakifata mtoto do the best for that child. Angarawa hata kama una pesa nyingi mukaribisha vizuri. Harafu tutengeneze baadhi moja kubwa tuje tusherekee huyo mtoto. Hebu niyekee huo mstari wa mwisho. When John shall be born, he shall be celebrated. Inafaa mtoto wa ukiselebrate mtoto maisha yake hapa duniani inakuwa rahisi. Lakini mtoto wa kumuendea na na karaye na boda boda na baiskeli. Mimi nakumbuka siku moja nikiwa town Nimekutana na jamaa mmoja anaendea mke wake uh, kumchukua 
alikuwa amepata mtoto. Nikamwambia unapangaje? Akaniambia ina shida, wajua kuna jamu, nitamuingiza boda boda. Nikamwambia hapana. Ama pasta, nikiingia gari nikamwambia ingia hapa twende. Tukaenda nikasema tumekaribisha. Nilichukua hiyo gari nikaenda na yeye mpaka kwake. Na mimi ni pasta. Lakini usikuje kuniita. Ni, ni huyo mtoto lazima atakuwa shujaa. Amebebwa mpaka na pasta. I'm telling you. Lakini kwenda kumchukua na boda boda, unapiga kona, muna, tena mama anaenda akirushwa rushwa. Akirushwa rushwa katoto unaona kana shindwa what is happening. Maana kametoka a very comfortable place. Umepata hiyo mstari tuombe na hiyo ya mwisho alafu tukule lost time. Mimi naomba mpokee baraka ya mafuta kuingia kwenye migu, ah, miguu kuingia kwa mafuta. Ah, receive it in the name of Jesus. Natangaza utakuwa na authority in the marketplace. Baraka hizi zinapeanwa kwa familia. Take it it is yours in the name of Jesus. Kila firstborn hapa ninakutangazia you are a natural leader. May you receive your double inheritance. May your name be blessed because you are a firstborn. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Wengine chukueni baraka ya juda. May you become a leader wherever you go. May you have a scepter of leadership in your hand. In the name of Jesus. Wengine pokeni grace ya mafuta ya kikuhani. The Levi blessing upon your life. And then others pokea baraka ya asha. Ingiza miguu yako kwenye mafuta. Pata kibari kila mahali uendapo. May people seek your presence. Umepata hiyo vas. Alafu ni kupatia ingine ya mwisho. Wajua zinakuja tu. Bible inasema people sought for the presence of Solomon. Watu walitafuta kuona uso yake. Naomba watu watafute kuona uso yako. Wewe sio mtu wa kutafuta kila wakati, wewe ndio unatafutanga. Kwani wewe huwezi tafutwa? Ebuge ukia mtu mwambie wewe unaweza tafutwa wewe. Wewe unaweza. Mi naomba kuna wakati watu watapanga laini wakisubiri kukuona. Ah, si useme that is my portion. In the name of Jesus. Can you read it loudly? One, two, three, go. And all the kings of the earth sought the presence of Solomon to hear his wisdom which God had put in his heart. Does the Bible say which men had put in his heart? Kwa hivyo ni kumanisha kuna kitu naeza pokea kwa hii ibada. Mungu waweke hiyo kitu kwa moyo wako. Watu watafute uso wako. Nasema uso wako utatafutua. May people seek your face. May people seek your presence. Hati unapata watu wa ishirini wa mejipanga wa kikusubili. Mi kuna wakati nimefurai sana siku moja nimeenda na robi. Watu wana nipigia simu. Pasta nimekuwa nikitaka kukuona. Ukija na robi uniambie. Nika wambia nikuwa naenda 6-8 hapo ndiyo niena kukunyua chai. Nika wambia munisubiri hapo. Nilipata watu wa menisubiri. Patiently. Unaingia pole pole. Hallelujah. Lazima na unakuwa serious. Usi, yani unaonyesha. Usitembea tena hivi unatembea hivi unaingia kama mutu. No. Unaingia like a boss. Oh, m- muko bado. Give me a minute. I need to drink some tea. And then I'm going to see you. Akikuja hapo unamwambia thank you for coming. How can I help you? Mi pastor tu najua wewe ndio uko na jibu langu. Nasema amen. Seek my presence. Seek. Kuna kitu Mungu ameweka ndani yangu. Na hata wewe geukia mtu mwambie utatafuta pastor. Utan, utanitafuta wewe utanitafuta. Na wewe pia natangaza utatafutwa. Ah nasema utatafutwa. Watu wakitafuta ile hekima ulio nayo ilitoka wapi? But God has put it in your heart. Receive an impartation in the name of Jesus. Na stangaza pokea impartation. Kila moja aliye mahali hapa pokea katika jina la Yesu. Sema amen. Now I want us to partake the Lord's table as we begin the year. Huo mstari mmoja sijui kama wameupata. Luke 1:14. Watu wangu simameni sasa hapa mbele watu wa to kunisaidia ku serve please come na mimi niletewe mavazi yangu ya kikuhani as we give the lost table to the people of god si unaona rejoicing at his birth kwa dakika moja before we give you the lost table. Hebu inua mikono uambie Mungu, nipe baraka ya kuweka miguu kwa mafuta. Itisha dakika moja, itisha hiyo baraka. Mungu hupeana baraka. Yes, yes, ask us for it. You will receive it.